Hello lovely people and welcome back to this week's new video as you can tell hopefully this is my 2023 bullet journal flip through these are the stickers that I've got on here this is from a wonderful wonderful Romanian restaurant in the East Village in New York this a co-worker gave to me this is from when I went to visit Seattle so this is the Space Needle sticker obviously this is from Japan when we went to the Snoopy Museum and on the back my last Last edition is um, from the microphone that my sister gave me for Christmas. So I always use a Lloyd term journal. This one is a dotted one. I typically go for a dotted one and this year's color was like a lavender lilac I absolutely love this color it's so gorgeous the pastels make me so so happy so let's just get straight into it I always start out here with um like washi scraps and this is from like when I did the Ana Luisa collaboration I guess I just never pasted that in here I use the table of contents more but I just grew out of it I guess I always have this page just for, it's like my ruler page, I guess, my measurements page, and then I had goals for 2023. My packing lists. I liked having this at the beginning because I could look at like what trips I was going on throughout the year. My YouTube ideas, wish list bucket list. And these are 2023 releases that I never actually really kept up with, so this was a little bit of a waste. I also didn't complete this, which was really disappointing because it would have looked really good. I think I did complete like this list, but not actually the bookshelves, which is sad because it's supposed to be all colored in and really pretty. I really fell behind with doing it, ended up never keeping up. I also like moved and then was unable to locate the color pencils that I was using for this. So there's also that. I love having my year in pictures, so it goes J January, February, March, April, and then it continues on. It's just a nice way to look back at what I've done over the years, my favorite memories of the month, and obviously December got left out, so I'll need to print something out and figure that out. This makes it look like I had a really good, fun year, and it was. And then we start in January. At the beginning of the year, I wanted to keep a very minimalist journal and keep it very thin, which I later found out that I was bored of. But my cover pages, I wanted to keep it with this purpley gold washi tape to match with my cover and then have this just be a simple cover page to avoid like the stress of thinking up of thinking up a theme every month. And so I would just do a photo of me of my state of that month and I would paste that in later. So this was me in Japan, totally content drinking convenience store milk tea. I started out the year in Japan or we head out like on the 4th so right at the beginning of the year and so I didn't bring all of my stuff with me obviously but I did like write down journal a little bit of like what I did in Japan and at the very end I pasted in some of the little things that I kept of all like the touristy things that we did I traveled a lot more in Japan that year which was really nice and I'd love to do that again and then February, again, we kept it really minimalist, very little color. I wanted to keep it purple to go with the theme, very just black and white. And if there was any color, it was always going to be purple. Then we're in March. And I went to Seattle. Wait. Oh, clearly I totally forgot to put that in. Haha, <laughs> that happens. Oh, I guess I didn't do anything for Seattle. I didn't paste anything in. I think I did one in my journal or my travel journal. My boyfriend's mom is going to Seattle this weekend, so I was able to flip back through this to see what we did and to give her some recommendations, which is why I love doing this. My April photo, I was still cat sitting for about a month for my cousin.
Oh my god. I read so little. This is this is like me figuring out Wordle for the day. And then I pasted it in the wrong page. So this was April, which is why I had to print out a new photo. This is me drunk, getting off at the wrong stop and <laughs> falling asleep as my stop to send to Coda. And then this is my actual May photo where I got like a nosebleed randomly. I thought that was weird. I wanted it to be a selfie, which is why I kind of limited my options because I don't take many selfies. It's still very minimalist. This is from, I thought I would journal more when I met RF Kuang for a book event for Yellow Face and I didn't. And then I think this is my Seattle spread, a super late Seattle collage in recap. We went in the beginning of March to tag along on my sister's writer's convention, but that's here. I think this is when I was deciding that I was okay with, like I wanted to do something that was a little bit more chunky. These are my favorite things that I did, like the monorail tickets, the places that we went to. June, when we went to Chicago to visit my friend Erica. Yeah, I'm changing things up a little bit. Um, I don't really care as much. Here, I was part of a event. Chicago stuff, which was a little bit intense because I didn't have my passport. I didn't have any type of ID. It was all being renewed and I wasn't getting the renewed one in time. So it is possible to travel domestically without a any ID. It just makes your security like TSA process a little bit longer and more in depth, but it is possible. It's a little bit scary. And then my Chicago journaling. And then July, I got COVID for the first time in 2023. Can you believe that? And this is me, nasty bedhead from being so like delirious. I couldn't shower and reading in bed. I actually ended up reading really little during COVID, but it's fine. And then I went to a twice concert with Coda and my friend Gina, kept that. I love this. It's like the chunkiest thing in my, in my journal. I know right when July is. And this is when we went to Disney for like four days. We went to all four parks at Orlando. Kept it pink. Usually it's pink, like light pink in August because it's my favorite color. Also Wordle, I think. I always do these calculations because I don't really like using my calculator to see how many books that I've read to, I mean pages that I've read to calculate for this page. September is when I moved. Move out day was bittersweet. It's not as decorated as it usually is and obviously like I didn't use it at all. I think this is when like right when I was moving so I like did not have the time to be doing this shit. And then right after I moved in that weekend I went to Long Island, Dakota's place. Um, so yeah, I didn't even have a picture for October here. This is the most plain and it does make me sad flipping through this. Like that's why I like when it says things that I did, like not just to-do list, which I don't always write obviously, but when it write down like things that I did like that day, my thoughts of that day, little tidbits of something funny if I can find it. But I obviously used my bullet journal really little this day, this uh, year. Who I met, like what I ended up doing. I really liked seeing that and it kind of works as like a mini journal entry. I read a lot in November, wow, that's great. Me and my, as I'm currently getting out of a reading slump. Yeah, I read 21 books, amazing. No December 
picture either. And then I think I was figuring out like my video schedule for the end of the year. Went to the Met. And then I always have a list of my DNFs at the end of the bullet journal as well. So I had four. It's usually never more than like five, if I'm being honest. These are just books that I absolutely could not deal with. And then at the end, I never really have anything either. And then whatever's in the pocket, I usually end up transferring over to my new bullet journal because it includes like stickers that I could use. The minimalist style is not for me. I love when a journal is so chunky and it shows you so much of what happened in my life of that time period. Period, and I that's why I love being able to flip back through them I think my favorite part of this is honestly going to be like these fucking photos They're hilarious to me like this shit happened to me, you know And this is where I was and I love seeing this which is why I would love to get back into like scrapbooking my Journals again, but I've been doing less of that because I'm finding little time to journal Which is why like it's nice that I can write in one-liners if at all like these things like we clearly walk Oh, I went to a basketball game. I went to go see the Nets and the Bucks. The Bucks won. It's nice knowing that. It's really simple, but this is what I've got. I did want to still upload it just to have one for every year. This has ended up being my 2023 bullet journal. Let me know if you want to still see like what other types of journaling videos you want to see from me. I think that would also motivate me to film them if you want to see like a journal with me or something like that. I think that also might change when I start a new journal. I love starting a new journal and filling it up like like this the one that I currently have is a spiral and it also already has like designs on it it's an Aristocats one which makes it a little bit harder to do a lot of scrapbooky stuff with but anyway let me know and I hope you enjoyed this one this was my 2023 bullet journal flip through and I'll see you on my next video thank you for watching my crusty nails bye